Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dotton.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Expose framework or also known as LS4 framework on the latest Android 15 build. So for the unaware, the official LS4 framework has now been archived and the official build will only work till Android 14 as you could see. This GitHub repo has been archived on January 8. At that point in time, the Android 14 build was released. There was no Android 15 build. So the official build of LS post will only work till Android 14 and it will not work with Android 15. So in this video, we'll show you how to use a modded build of LS post and then how you can flash it. And after that, I'll also show you how to flash various modules using the LS post framework all on Android 15. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to root your phone via magisk or kernel su i made a separate guide and a video on the same you could refer to my guide and get the job done once you have obtained root in my case i have done so via magisk as you could see your next course of action is to enable zygisk for that tap on the settings icon at the top right and enable the toggle next to zygisk it will ask you to do a restart we will not do a restart now we will do a restart after after flashing the module just to save some time so once you have enabled the toggle next to zygisk Let's move ahead. Now you will have to download the LS Post framework of the Zygisk variant. For that, since we cannot use the official any further, so you could use the Jing Matrix LS Post framework. This version of LS Post is a modded build and it works on the latest Android 15 as well as you could see. So go to its release section and from here, you may download the latest LS Post build, the Zygisk release. So download the zip file and then send the zip file onto your phone. Let me show you. I might already be having the zip file somewhere on my phone. So this is the file manager app. And this is the LS4 zip file. Once you have transferred the file onto your phone, it's not time to flash it. So for that, launch the Magisk app and go to modules. Tap on install from storage. Then choose the module, which in our case is the LS4 zip file. Tap on OK. And it will now be flashed onto your phone, which will take just a few seconds. Once the flashing has been done, you will also have to install the APK file. The APK file does not come as a standalone file. Instead, the file is there inside the zip file only. So you may either extract the file onto your PC or on, on your phone. On your phone, simply open any file manager app and extract the LS4 zip file. Hit the extract button, it will extract it. And once the extraction is complete, go to that folder and you will find a file name as manager.apk. You will simply have to install this APK and it will install the LS Post app. You may also extract the APK zip file onto your, onto your PC and then get the job done. For example, this is the latest LS Post Android 15 release. Go inside, copy the manager APK file, send the file onto your phone and then install the APK. Once you have installed the APK, you will get the LS Post app as well onto your phone as you could see. But do, no, as of now, it will not work because you have to do a restart. So tap on reboot and upon a subsequent restart, the LS Post framework will be installed onto our phone and then we could easily flash the required modules of our choice. Do note that after flashing the module, the first boot up might take up some additional time. That is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's just wait for the phone to boot up. And once that happens, we will then flash a few modules onto our phone as well. So there exists two ways through which you could flash the modules. Either you could do so from the LS Post app itself or you may download the file from a third party site such as github and then manually install the apk file i'll show you both the methods so first of this is the ls post app launch it tap on ok and make sure that as you could see it's activated in the zygis variant so ls post is now up and running so now it comes to the downloading and flashing of the module the first approach is from the ls post app itself so go to the download section and from here you may download the required app of your choice so for example let's go with android faker then go to the release section tap on asset and choose the apk file and it might take you to the google chrome browser open the github page and then download the apk file which will take just a few seconds once the file has been downloaded tap on open and you will now have to install the apk file hit the install button and once the installation is complete, you will get a prompt that module is not yet activated. So just tap on done. Don't open the APK now. Simply tap on the done button. Then launch the LS Force app. Go to the module section. 
choose the newly installed module enable the toggle next to enable module and now you will have to do a restart as well now if you want to check mark any app as such then you may do the check mark but that is optional you may also leave it unchecked if that is not required it depends on the type of module which you are flashing anyways once you have enabled the module you will now have to do a restart as well so for restart let's do so from the magisk app itself so let's launch the magisk app and do a restart do note that after flashing any of the module you will have to do a restart this restart is compulsory and it's not optional and once the module has been activated upon a reboot you could then use the module without any issue whatsoever so let me show you that as well and after that we will take the second approach to install the module which is by a third party app there are numerous third party app which host the module but it's highly recommended that you only go with the github and not any other website because github is the only trusted source of downloading modules so with that said let's see the app you may now launch the android flasher app in my case it's the android faker app and then you might get a super user request as well in some cases tap on agree and now we could simply change the required imei wi-fi mac address ssid bssid and any of this id according to our choice and once you make the changes simply do a restart and your task stands complete and as you could see the module is up and running over here so this was the first method of flashing the module right from the ls post repo itself but in some cases some of the modules might not be there in the repo and you will have to manually download them from the third party site for example one of the most popular modules is hide my app this allows you to hide numerous types of such as magisk kernel su a patch you may hide all these apps from banking and payment app so this is quite a nifty app but the hide my app list you may do a search over here but that app is not present in the repo so you will have to manually download the apk file from here once you have got the apk file you will have to transfer the apk file onto your phone and then do the job manually so just give me a second this is the apk file let me first transfer the file onto my phone and then we'll flash the module onto our phone as well so the file has now been transferred and let's access it via file manager app so simply you now have to open the apk file as you open any normal apk file this is the hma app tap on install again that will be installed and you will get a prompt that it's not activated so don't open the app yet instead open the ls4 framework and now go to the module section and from here select the newly installed module then enable the toggle next to the module and now you will have to do a restart once again and let me show you do a restart and upon a restart the module will be activated so there exists two methods of flashing the module either from the ls post repo itself or if you are looking for a newer module then there are a few chances that the newer module might not be there on the repo so in that case you may get hold of them from the their github page and then you may manually install the apk enable them in the ls post app and then do a restart both of these steps are extremely important in enabling in the ls post app and then doing a restart you will have to carry out both this task and only then will you be able to use the module keep this point in mind and now if i launch the app which is the just let me show you hide my app list it will now work without any issue you may now make a module let's say a blacklist for the required apps and choose all the rooted apps on your phone you may add it to that and let's name it root and then let's save it as well and then you may go to the go back and select the app manage and let's say show system apps and let's hide the rooted app from the ai core so you may enable the hide and then use the root template and all the rooted apps are now hidden from the ai core app as you might be aware in case of pixel phones various ai features will not work if it if your phone has obtained root via magic or kernel issue so you may hide all these apps from the ai core and then the ai core will work without any issue so this is just an example you may try it out with any other app of your choice so guys these were the two methods of flashing the module now comes the last part of removing or uninstalling the module on your phone that is also quite easy to do so simply go to the ls post app and go to the module section first off disable the toggle next to the module and after that go back long press on the module and tap on uninstall again tap on uninstall while you may simply long press the 
app and tap on uninstall but that is not recommended instead first and foremost disable the module and then long press on the module and tap on uninstall that is the recommended approach likewise you may easily re-enable the module as when required as well finally if you want to uninstall the lsbos app itself then first and foremost please remove all the modules and only then uninstall the lsbos app so for that first off disable the module then long press on it and uninstall all the modules once that is done go to the magisk app go to the module section then disable zygis ls post tap on remove and do a restart once you have done a restart the module will be removed you may then simply remove the apk file as well by going to the app info and tapping on uninstall and tap on ok and this will remove the remaining files as well so just to repeat first and foremost disable all the modules then uninstall all the modules then go to magisk and from there disable the zygis ls post module and then do a restart upon a restart the module will be gone and then you may simply remove the lspos apk as well from the app info page and the task stands complete so guys on that note i round off this video the only difference with android 15 as opposed to android 13 and 14 is that the official build no longer works as i have shown you so in that case as you could see the official build has been archived so you will have to use a fork version in the fork version there exists quite a few variants for example the best one is the Jinx matrix, so it's recommended that you use the Jinx matrix. But in some cases, if that is not working, then you may also use one more fork. I have linked this fork as well. Let me show you. This is one more mod for the LS Pose mod. It also works on Android 15 beta. But as you could see, it was last updated on the March. So it's quite an older variant and might not work now. Whereas the latest Jinx matrix has been updated just a few days back. And it's the best one as of now. So it's highly recommended that you go with this. Apart from that, the flashing steps are the same as earlier. You will have to root your phone, enable Zygisk and Magisk. Whereas in case of kernel SU and A patch, you will have to flash the Zygisk next module because both of them does not have inbuilt Zygisk. So flash the Zygisk next module from GitHub and the Zygisk will be enabled. And then you must simply flash the module from here, the Jing matrix. And then after that, extract the ls post zip file and install the manager APK file as you could see over here. And it will install the LSPOS app as well. Finally, do a restart. And the LSPOS will then be up and running on your phone. And then you may easily install the module as well. For installing the module, you could either do so from the LSPOS repo or download the same from a third party app, APK. And once you install the APK, do not launch the APK. Rather, go to the LSPOS app. And from the LSPOS app, you will first have to enable the module. And after that, do a restart. And only then will you be able to use the module. Finally, if you want to remove the module, then first turn off or disable the module, then long press on it and uninstall the module. And if you want to uninstall LS port itself, then first off uninstall all the modules, then disable the LS port from Magisk. And then after that, tap on remove and do a restart. And finally, remove the LS port APK as well from the app info page. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries with regard to any of the steps, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.